Hi everyone, it's Justine. The guys at Pantone have released their forecasted color of the year 2017. It's called Greenery. What does it mean for us? I don't know if you have ever seen something like this. It's called a color guide. It's edited by Pantone. It's a super thick benchmark of a ton of different colors. They do it so that if you have this in your hand and you're talking with somebody else on the other side of the world, if you give one reference number for one color, you're pretty sure that the person on the other side of the world will see the same thing. So if you want to print or dye fabrics somewhere else and you reference those colors to the producers, you're probably going to get something quite close to what you want. So we're going to look into this guide and find that greenery color. So this guide here is for textiles, clothing textiles and home textiles, but you also have different benchmarks, different guides like this one for paper printing, for instance, and for other things, depending on what you need. Here we're talking about clothing, so I have the textile one. Greenery is this one here, the top one. So you can tell, comparing with the other greens, you have like a ton of different greens in each guide. It's a quite bright green and it has a lot of yellow in it. And by the way, when you do this exercise, when you look at color, Make sure to always do it in daylight, not like I'm doing right now, I'm under artificial light, it gives a biased impression. It's always better to do it in daylight without sunlight. Okay, so greenery is our color of the year 2017. So what? <laughs> what does it mean for me if I'm a makeup artist and I want to integrate that color in my runway looks? What if I'm an interior designer and I want to use that green in what I do? What if I'm a fashion designer and I want to work with that color in my upcoming collection? So let's have a look into that. I would like to start with a mind map. What does this greenery color make me think of? What if it was a place in the world? What if it was a texture? What if I combine it with other colors and which ones? What if it was a period in history? I'm trying to take several different angles to try to characterize this color and see what it makes me think of. New leaves from tropical plants. Matcha tea, that would give me Japan. Oh, green apples. That like acid green thing. I really like apples that have this color. Grapes, obviously. Green grapes. That's an easy one. What is it about that green apple that I like so much? Young grass just coming out of the ground. So I mean an organic, organic thing. That's boring, it's too easy. I need to dig deeper. There's too much yellow. Peridot stone. How oh, precious stone, stone that coming out it looks a little bit things from nature. It's not just that vibrant. Moment. It's more aggressive than that. They say greenery is a vibrant Green color. Deep, deep no, it's more aggressive. Really from natural it's even a little bit off. There's too, too much obvious. yellow in it. Too much yellow. Acid. That's a color that Lacoste would use. No, Pucci. Pucci. That's a Pucci color. Very neon. Acid colors, 80s, disco. Acid is the word that sticks. I'm actually looking to complete and illustrate my mind map with pictures. I'm looking for more textures, I'm looking into this acid direction, what I can get here, I don't know yet. In terms of fibers, in terms of textile, I'm looking for something else because that plastic nylon acetate direction, I do not feel comfortable with that. Those are fibers I don't like to use usually in my designs, I prefer natural fibers, things that are warmer, easier to care for. Eh, acetate is really not my range, it's not something I like. Let's see if I can find stiff fabrics that shine but are still easy on the skin and actually breathe. <laughs> In the end, with this greenery color, I don't quite feel at ease, I have to say. It's not something I'm usually working with, it doesn't mean that I couldn't, it's just a feeling that it does not quite fit into my aesthetics. 
So I'm gonna stop here and leave it up to you to comment on what you would have done with this color if you'd been in my shoes. If you followed me through this whole process, you notice the voice over the voice. It's to show you that the creative thinking process is not linear. By far, not linear. You start at one point, but you don't know where you're gonna end, so to say. And it's okay to jump, it's okay to stick to an idea that seems weird at first sight. It's okay to go with the idea that's like an idea on the margin, like in my case, the acid thing. It's the word that actually sticked most. I wasn't feeling very comfortable with those whole plants, natural things, so like very organic, very, very easy when you see that color. So I wanted to dig a little bit deeper and that led me to that acid direction and I ended up with an 80s disco thing that I wouldn't have guessed from looking at that color in the first place. As a designer or creative mind, it's up to you. You decide which idea you want to keep and maybe you think the idea is crap in the end or it doesn't fit your aesthetics and you're gonna throw it away and start over with another one. And that's okay. The result you get will always be unique even if everybody starts with the same greenery color or any other color because the result of everyone is a logical sequence of thoughts that's unique and that's based on the personal experience of each person. So you never have twice the same, even if you start with the same input or the same source of inspiration. As usual, links and Pinterest board can be found in the description box right below this video. Thumbs up if you'd like more videos on the creative process and if you like this one, it's a bit of a different thing that I tried. I hope you liked it. If you do subscribe to my channel for more videos on fashion and creativity, make sure to also activate the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you actually get the info when I upload new content. Here's my video from last week on fashion trends for 2017. I only make that one twice a year, so don't miss it. <laughs> and here is another video that I highly recommend as well to choose fabrics when you're working on an upcoming collection. I see you next Sunday for a new video. Take care. Bye.